Hi, we're here in beautiful Healdsburg, California. I just got back from the farmer's market with some fabulous produce. We're about to go inside and cook a great meal. I'm Herb York, and welcome to Farm to Fork. So we're gonna make some really killer things for you tonight. We're gonna to do a creamy Thai pesto pasta. We're also gonna do some barbecued salmon with a balsamic reduction on it. Fabulous. The first thing we're gonna start off with is a balsamic vinaigrette. And we're gonna use that in a couple of things. We're gonna use it in our bruschetta. We're also gonna brush it on some fresh organic vegetables that we're gonna grill out there. Let me show you a little trick that we do with our garlic. So what we wanna do is we wanna smash the garlic as much as possible. Okay, then we're gonna put in just a little pinch of salt like this. What that does is it grinds the garlic up into a paste. Okay, so now we're ready to make our vinaigrette. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put in a little bit of balsamic vinegar, maybe about a quarter cup. Then we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, maybe about a half to three quarters of a cup. We'll just pour that in. After that, we wanna put in a pinch of salt, a generous pinch of brown sugar, a teaspoon of mustard, some of that beautiful basil. Mm, rock star, this stuff is so good. This will make your mouth water. And a little bit of lemon. All right, last but not least, we've gotta get our garlic paste. All right, now we're ready to roll. Put the top on here, away we go. Screaming. All right, now we're gonna drizzle just a little bit of this over our heirloom organic tomatoes. This is gonna be part of our bruschetta. We wanna just toss lightly, just like that. Now we're gonna let this rest. We're working on our creamy Thai pesto sauce right now. We just finished toasting our pine nuts and what that does is it totally adds like a creamy, rich, nutty flavor to the to the sauce. We're gonna let that cool for just a second. Meanwhile, we're gonna start working on the pesto. First thing we do, a little bit of garlic. We're gonna chop that up. Now that's chopped up, we're gonna add our pine nuts. Mm, it just smells so good. Oh my gosh. We don't really have to use all of these, but you can put these on salads have a little bit extra, who knows, maybe even a little bit of ice cream, anything really. Pine nuts are fabulous. Put this back in here, get those nice and toasty. And now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. That's gonna bind it all together. Oh, look at that, huh? Awesome. Now we're gonna take this over and we're gonna add it to our cream. I have a pot of cream simmering. I've added my pesto sauce. Now I'm gonna put in a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some red chili sauce. So good, you guys are gonna love this. We'll put a little bit of cheese in here just like this. And a big spoonful of chili sauce. That's gonna give it some kick. My two-year-old son, Lucas, loves my famous ginger cookies. And the best way to make any cookie is to roll them into a ball so they're all uniform, and then roll them in a bowl of sugar, just like this. This kind of gives the cookie a little bit of sparkle, makes them extra special. This is a balsamic reduction. This is a glaze. You put it on the fish at the very, very end. This really finishes the fish off. You wanna make sure that you just pour this right before you're about to serve. Only takes a second or two to go. Now, let's talk about these vegetables that we got at the farmer's market earlier today. They're so much better for you. No artificial pesticides, no conventional fertilizers, 
much better, much healthier for you. You know where your food's coming from. Really, true sustainability. Your food's not traveling 1,500 miles, and it's healthier for you. And look, they're fabulous. Look at the color, the zucchini, the squash, the red bell peppers. They've been brushed in our balsamic vinaigrette that we made earlier today. You guys are gonna love it. I just grilled off some bread on the barbecue, and now we took that mixture that I made earlier, the organic heirloom tomatoes with the balsamic vinaigrette. Put a little bit of goat cheese on top of that. Rock star. This is so good, so easy to make. Three steps in the oven, away we go. This is the payoff. This is what it's all about. Good food, good friends, good times. From Farm to Fork, I'm Herb York. Let's eat. Here's to the chef. Here is to the chef. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice job.